New man. Oh, what you got for him? You got to follow that up with something, man. What you? He left a little gap. Yeah, yeah you got to follow look. that with something, man. I thought so. I ain't know. <laughs> I ain't know. Look next week. I'm going to do a whole well, yeah, song for y'all. Just a real ghetto nigga type Andre, shit. Let's go with it. Tell your auntie. You got the blame. To let me get the car. OK. Car. <laughs> Tell your auntie. Can I get the car? Car. Cause I got some places that I need to go okay. And I can't tell her, she doesn't need to know So if you wanna do a favor, you know who I are Just uh, ask your auntie, can I get the car? I said we need to cruise, we need to hit 285 I need to just stop on Roswell Drive See, that's okay. off Roswell Road over in Sandy Springs Cause I just have to do some things But I don't wanna say, hey, where I'm going? Cause people don't be really need to know and where I be because I don't like people running up on me Because I'm so paranoid with the capital D Cause I always keep a G on me, at least So don't be running up quickly Because I'm so shifty, I might get pissy Catch your attitude, but I don't mean to be rude But what type of nigga just be running up on dudes? Like, don't I know you? Didn't I really see you somewhere? Hey, what DC be up to? I be like, nigga, do you care? Cause that ain't your business Do you need to win? Is what I'm saying. You think that I be rapping off the top of the ain't playing. Stay your business. We in the middle of quarantine. Just cause you came outside to get an outfit and some new jeans. What type of grown ass man be wearing blue jeans? Count in my pockets and you don't do things. <laughs> they say that I'm a star, but I'm a hood nigga. Ask your auntie, gotta get the car. Hey, because it's real low key. She got the Altima with the tinted windows, my G. And it's a SS. That means it's the one that I like. That means it's the fast one. You know, with the two tailpipes. I think she got like a 3.6 with the turbo. But I don't have to go just like Herbo because I'm smoking. I got the window cracked, but if the police pull up shit, I'll light a black. And that's a well-known fact in the hood. And if you light it up quick enough, you should be good. Hey. Damn. Man, it's my season. I be trying to give these niggas a reason for the cheesing. Come on. Hey, but they be faking cause they hate. Okay. I just be playing these hoes, I'm like a PlayStation 5. They don't have one because they're going for like five. Thousand and one dollars. I make them holler, pop my collar on the freaks. Welcome back. Are you looking at me? Hey, yeah. 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 I'm gonna give y'all a whole song. Legendary shit right there. Ghetto legend. That was, that was really legendary. Happened. That, was that really old. happened in real time in that real shit life. Really happened. I just oh, thought about that shit. On, I didn't man. even know that I, I witnessed that shit. I witnessed that shit. Ain't nobody write that. I nah. missed my so, auntie. Ask bro. me what I said. You did write it. Yeah. Your brain wrote it. My brain. I witnessed that shit. Your brain wrote it on deck. Just not. I witnessed that shit. It was on deck. Your brain wrote it on on. Your vocal cords. I had to make sure the shit was hard. There you go. That shit was hard. We got, you we got a motherfucking ghetto legend in here with us today. 100%. You feel me? Mm. Man, I be watching all these fucking inspiration on how to get this money and keep it like old white people video. What? Guess who pop up? <laughs> My nigga. Wall Street Trapper. You did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about. He don't yeah. the original white man. <laughs> That's how much this nigga know. He went on the white man show and was like, well, huh? you could do that. I was like, nigga, tough one. Yeah. I knew what he was talking about. Man, I'm saying all that to say, nigga, I'm proud of you, man. Man, I appreciate yeah. that. I'm proud of you. Come on, man. Because when you came through here and you told me the story about how you went from jail to getting this game, to taking the game that you got and actually applying it, and, and getting the success and the results that you getting, man, that shit gotta be commended, Mo, man. You get what I'm saying? Appreciate that, man. Shit, you, you, was in a, you was saying you was in a situation where it looked like it wasn't no way, and yeah. you made you one. Yeah. Man, that's inspirational as hell. Man, come However on. you look at it. Yeah, man. You made it to the other side. How's it feel, first of all? Man, uh, I'm still, I'm still appreciating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just came back from New Orleans. Give me a second. My aunt just passed away on my way here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I made my first six figures sitting on her sofa. Rest in peace, auntie. Yeah. Rest in peace, auntie. She was just, she believed in me. First um, of all. I went through a, a situation where um, I was like, man, either I'm going to go back to the streets mm -hmm. or it's not an option. I'm going to go to work. And 
I was just like, this this working ain't it. Nothing against nobody that working. But I was just, I've been a hustler my whole life. I watched my mama hustle. I grew up amongst hustlers. Right. So this was, a, this was the freedom. I thought the freedom was attached to. So I feel like every everybody should have one thing in their life that they go all in on. God gave everybody at least one. One. You God gave you. everybody at least one, man. Come on. I'm talking about it's one thing you can naturally do. That's it. Better than everybody. That's, That's your gift. Go, That's your talent. Go yeah. all in on it. And don't let nobody tell you that it ain't. Don't if you know how to get a bunch of motherfuckers in the room, that's your talent. That's it. If you know how to talk to a bunch of motherfuckers that's in the room. That's yeah. your gift. That's if it. you know how to get everybody in this room who you know don't fuck with each other to, to just agree for a second. Right. Just give them a minute. Right. That's a gift. Yeah. Nigga, if you the coldest dressing motherfucker, you shouldn't just be dressing yourself. Facts. Right. If you, you feel me? Facts. Right. 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 Nigga, whatever you the best at, that's where you that's your industry. Yeah. yeah. If you, you the best be looking motherfucker everywhere you go. Good at, you don't want to be one of them old people. No, no. 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 You know, yeah. people are always say I can jump higher than anybody. You should have been a jumper. <laughs> I hit, I hit one time, and I said, fuck. You should have been a jumper. <laughs> Teach niggas how to jump. Nigga, if you can cut hair, nigga, if you can do hair, if you can do other shit that you know people struggle with. Some people clean up good in the motherfucker. Yeah. But they too, they're not even keen or humble enough to say, nigga, I need to start this cleaning service. Yeah. Because they don't understand. It's different than if you work at a motherfucking cleaning service and then you own a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what might be my first question. I want to get everybody's perspective. Yeah. yeah. Because you said you're a natural born hustler. Yeah. Can a hustler have a job? So I think you can't have a job until you cultivate what it is you want to do. So for me, I was before, so after I got found out guilty, I started doing iron work. So I built a bridge stadium, literally from, I mean, the Falcon Stadium, ground up. Right, so I you need your ass whooped, because you know they didn't need no new stadium. Well, I, you know, I'm just like, I'm just like, no, 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 the Falcon Stadium, bro. The Falcon Stadium, yeah, the Ben Stadium. Yeah, stadium. Oh, okay. I built that from the ground up, 15, from 2015 to 2018. Yeah, stacking so, that bread. Yeah, just stacking that. And I left that and started building power plants, because I was like, all right, I got to figure it out. Again, I just got found out guilty. So I'm like, I'm in my mind, I'm like, do I really want to do this again? You know what I'm saying? I just did 10 years. I just got found out guilty, like, Man, I ain't, you know, that's, that shit ain't, it ain't balancing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, let me figure this out. Let me, let me, let me reset. And so I was doing that. I was like, all right, like, this shit not me. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's cool, but it ain't me. All right, knowing what you know now. Yeah. If you had an extra 10 years. Yeah. To know what you know now and yeah. apply it plus that 10, yeah. where you think you would be right now? So... I think everything you go through in life is needed. Exactly. Right? So it's like I always convert stuff back to the streets. So if you start hustling, you can't go from selling dimes to like selling a brick. There's a whole process that you got to understand and go through that. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Precautions. Like my homie, got in a, he started hustling. And what he did was he served two dudes. He let the people he served and get in the back seat. You feel me? As a new hustler. Right. That's a mistake you make. I would have did that. You feel me? Yeah. And he got shot. He lost his life like that. Uh, you feel me? He let he started hustling, but he went from nickel and diamond to something major, and he's serving the dudes in the back seat. They, a jack play turned into a murder scene. Right. Damn. But and, and it's things you miss along the journey. So you can't afford to miss you can't, in the street. And sometimes yeah. what you Damn. miss costs you everything. So for me, even doing a 10 year bid, that was necessary for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that was necessary for me to be who I am now. All that cultivated me. So I wouldn't say if I had another 10, it's like the 10 I got ahead of me, them bitches badass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. crucial because now I'm never in a rush. I take my time and I plan shit out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Every moment, I just make that shit like count, and I, I take a lesson from everything. Cause the one thing about life is that shit gonna always teach you a lesson, and the blessing is often wrapped up in the confusion, in the losses. The blessing be wrapped up inside of that, and so if you gonna get discouraged, then now you gotta start all over again. Yeah. But if you just be like, yo, man, what that shit? This I always do this. Man, what that shit trying to teach me? Like what I can learn from this shit? Cause I'm a new, I'm a need it again. I'm gonna need, at some point, I'm gonna have to use this lesson, I'm gonna have to revert back to it. And so everything I go through, man, I just use that, I, I like store that shit, and I'll be like, all right, cool, I'm gonna use it again. 
And it helped me out, even with the financial literacy shit. I compare that shit to the streets, and that's why that shit is so easy for me right now. Yeah. I get a lot of financial advice from Jack Thrill. 100%. <laughs> I don't want do this, don't do that. Don't do this. That's why I'm broke. Don't Man, do he that. He a real shit nigga, though, because he had it all, lost it, got it back. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's resiliency. Oh, you're very resilient. That's resiliency. Mm -hmm. Most people, when they, the hardest part is the, to lose it, because that's the emotional part. That's the pride that make you like, damn. Like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So he when you drinking. can get it back, he, he was, he oh, drink, God, he damn. started drinking. Really. I don't never look at losing it. I spend it. That's good. And I'm going to spin it again. <laughs> hey, if we don't I'm spin it, what we going to do? Right, man. But you got to invest it. You got to invest it. Okay. There we go. That's what we get so, so The thing is about learning how to print money. That's what I always, that's what I use investing as. Like, that shit he is going to go to jail, bro. No, you ain't going to go to jail. Money, guess what the nigga did? Tell him what I did. <laughs> nigga bought an ad with a damn in I made him take that shit back. I called him. He was in, living in New York. <laughs> yeah. N nigga tried to rob me from my eye. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> man. Try, Give me that goddamn eye, nigga. Tell Come the truth. This shit. Tell the truth. They slap you in the back of the head and it popped out. Because <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was going to tell the story a whole nother way. <laughs> nigga, if you want this eye, you take it then, motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, hit Gave that shit right God over. God damn. <laughs> yeah. How much was it worth? Uh, it was about, about like 5000 I don't know what the fuck made him do this. Yeah, I saw the work. Hmm? He eyeballed the work. Man, yeah, he eyeballed the work. Oh, man. Yeah. I can eyeball this work. He eyeballed the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't gonna do that. You don't want to do that? I'm not gonna do, do my partner like this, man. I'm not about to do that, man. Hey, man, hey, hey, once again, it, it was, I was yeah. trying to be flashy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought that shit was gonna get me more hoes. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's I, all he care about. That's all I used to care about. Mm -hmm. Hoes are a liability. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I got questions. Can we repurpose his shit so instead of getting diamond eyes to impress the hoes, what he should have did? What I should have So it's a few things you Because I'm not did. too far off. I ain't getting no The money you spent on the eye, you could have just <laughs> took some of that and then just turned on your charming personality. So. If, well, that, that probably could have did some case of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot. So for me, it's, I'm heavy on helping us mentally first adjust. So we got to do a lot of readjusting. Your mind wasn't right. We got to do a lot of readjusting. Your so, intentions weren't pure. So, nah, not even that. So we got to learn how to build relationships with money. Okay. So we don't even got no relationship with money. So here's the thing. Like, sweet talk my money. No, 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 for sure. So here's the thing. There's a certain class of people that continuously builds generational wealth through underdeveloping another class of people. Yeah. Right? You, you got you with me? I'm no. with it. All right, let's, let's go back. Hold on. Let's go back. Okay. Just walk them slow. Let's man. go back. Let's go back. <laughs> All right, so check this out. There's a certain group of people that refuses to give you the information because if they give you the information, then you equal the playing field. Right. You feel me? I got it. I'm, that, you with me? Damn, that's the same shit you just said? That's the same shit I just said. Oh, okay. So check this out. If I can keep you distracted and entertained, I can keep making money off you. I can make you a lifetime customer if I can keep making you spend money. Now, here's the thing. If I give you the information that I have, now, check this out. You become powerful because you understand the power of your money. If you understand the power of your money, you no longer have to spend it with me. Because now you can start making money like me. I don't need a bunch of them. Right? So there's more poor people in the world than there's wealthy people in the world. There's a reason behind that. If I don't give you information, you can't make money. So now the only thing you know to do your money is spend that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sound like you was even talking about the gentrification thing with underdeveloping. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, All that. So on. it's exposure to certain mm -hmm. shit. Right? So if I if I don't put you in a if I put you in a situation where you always in survival mode, you don't even got time to think about the future. Right? You, don't, you can't think about the next generation because every day the next meal is more important. Right? I can't think about the future if I'm trying to eat right now. Mm -hmm. Right? And so I'm not, you trying to tell me to sacrifice? Sacrifice. Nigga, every day is a sacrifice. What are you talking about? You feel me? So if I can't, if I never develop you financially, I can eat off you and your family for the rest of y'all existence. Mm. So as a community, where we start inheriting, we start inheriting what? Generational poverty, generational debt, right? Your, your goal of success is getting a job that make eighty, ninety thousand dollars a year. You feel like you good. Oh, you got that good job. Oh, you making that money. And you like, yeah, what you? I'm a construction worker. Nothing against it, cause I, you know what I'm saying. But 
that's the limitations. Right? When they like, yo, how do I own a construction company? Big difference. Big difference. I'm working on a Falcon Stadium. Everybody see the dude who owned the company as the big dog. Like, damn, he making a few. And we know he's the big dog. So think about this. So let's, let's dig a little bit deeper. The more information you have, the more money you make. You, you can agree with that? 100%. So, because look, look at it like this. So if you go to McDonald's, the person who work on the fries probably makes the less amount of money. Why? He got the less amount of information. The manager gonna make more than the fry person because the manager got a little bit more information, right? The store regional owner gonna make more money than the shift manager and the regular manager and the fry person, why? Because they got a little more information. The person who own a McDonald's gonna make money than all of them, why? Because they got a little more information. The people who own, so they got franchisees and then they got the CEO. The CEO gonna make more money than the franchisee because they got more information than everybody. The person with the least amount of information make the less amount of money because all you can do is use your hands. If all you can do is use your hands, you're gonna always be a slave. Bro, they never used to put me on fries at McDonald's. I worked on Wesley Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> they had me sweeping the roof, all kind of stupid ass. You was a porter. You, know, you ain't really worked there. You got information. You was a janitor. I was, yeah, man, they never let me get on the fries. They never let me get on the, the, uh, the cash register. None of that shit. <laughs> I, don't know. I was like, two years, man. man two what? years. N never let me get on the grill. <laughs> what they said when you asked them about it? Get they your ass at the kitchen. They, they were saying that I went there long enough. <laughs> you been on the roof. Yeah, on the roof. Like, I ain't never you seen that. You got roof in the kitchen. That, you didn't even know what you were doing. I was 15, man. 15 to sweep in the roof. Nah. So that's it, man. Like, hey. it's, it's the more information we get, we, we change the shit. And so now, we in a world where, like I say, like print money. Yeah. Like, you can print money. The stock market. So I look at the stock market like a dope game. That's why the shit makes sense to me. They so, should actually have the dope game on the stock it market. It is. It's called pharmaceuticals. That should be called the dope game. You feel me? It should yeah. call pharmaceuticals. So Break that down. That's yeah. it. It's called pharmaceuticals. So you think about this, right? So this this why it makes sense to me. So the stock market is like having a plug that has everything you need. We I need to dope. look up the company that make perks. I need to invest in perks. Try. I find out who the company is. And then you can see if they're public or they're private. <laughs> Thing might be Eli Lilly or something like that. Don't say I said. I'm it. fucking with it, right? So <laughs> you think about it. I look at it like so. So there's different strategies you can use. So buy and hold is the equivalent to somebody selling weed. Why? So buy and hold is the safest thing you can do. Buy and hold. Buy and hold. Buy and hold. So buy and hold means buy, like buying a stock and you know? keep. No, no, no. So it's like buying a stock okay. and then holding it. That's Got the equivalent it. to selling weed. Why? Because it's the less amount of risk. Okay. People always want to smoke. They always want to feel good, right? And you can smoke forever and be cool, right? And, and be good. That's buying hold. So you buy a stock, you hold it for the long way. That's the equivalent to selling weed, right? So then, like, selling crack, selling, selling bricks would be like investing in options because you're buying stocks wholesale, right? You're buying them wholesale. So Coke is like the game everybody play when you get into the dope game, mm. right? Day trading would be like selling heroin. Why? Because the clientele different, it's more fast paced, and you don't have a big room for error. You feel what I'm saying? So those are like the three steps. Those are the three different phases you can deal with in the stock market. So to me, that's the equivalent to, okay, this is how the dope game go, right? And then I look at it like, okay, well, some companies, this shit shit called short squeezing. Right, so you betting against, you betting that the market going down. To me, that's the equivalent of running against your ops. So you got niggas who want the market to go up, and the people who want the market to go down, they betting heavy that it's gonna go down. So they're gonna make more money on that. So you putting pressure on your opposition. So that's like a short squeeze. So that shit, that's how it makes sense to me. Right? So put the squeeze on. Put the squeeze on. So now you putting pressure on your ops. Heavy. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So then you got like terrorists. So Tara says when another country got to pay another country for putting goods in their country, for selling goods over there. For that's, helping them. For, that's the equivalent of paying draft in the streets. That's the equivalent of Los, that's what you're doing over there. you like trapping. In order to come sell that shit over here, you got to pay me draft. So in order for me to hustle in Los neighborhood, I got to pay Los draft. Why they call it draft? Because you got to pay me to be over there. It's just a word. It's draft. It's, oh, it's just, just a, you, no, yeah, okay, you paying okay. draft. I'm overthinking it. Yeah, you know you good if you yeah. explain this shit to Jack Thriller. You feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's so it's you paying me to hustle in my in my neighborhood. 
I don't like that. Exactly. That's the stuff America do with terrorists. Okay. So you, you got some goods, China, you want to sell that shit over here, it's going to cost you to bring that shit over here. Just paying the tax. We taxing that ass. You did? That's it. Draft is taxes. Draft is taxes. Yeah, that's what a tariff is. That's what a tariff is. Now you tell me. So then they got like consignment. So consignment is low fronting me to work. Exactly. That's a margin account. A margin account is the account giving you the money and you got to pay them back whatever, with whatever the trade do. So that's a margin account. But for me, I don't never want Los to front me nothing because I don't never want to have to pay him back. That's so I'm fucked only, up, man. So let me get you the money. Let right. me get money. You feel me? So it's, let it's, me eat with y'all, man. Put me in this <laughs> shit. What we doing? So the shit makes sense. It remind me of the streets so so much, and that's how I, I'm able to break that shit down. Well, but they are the streets. These are the it white is. man's streets. Is it? Tell it's me it's more about the cocaine. It's basically the cocaine shit. You, <laughs> the cocaine shit. If you play the right part of the game, you can't lose, man. Facts. If you a real life hater, you need to bet on the motherfucking market going down. That's a fact. But if you optimistic and you believe in the greater good of people, and you think that doing good will bring you good, you are gonna pray for it to go up. And it go up more than it go down. So exactly. there's there's. I, I say it like, I always say that if the market going down, it's a drought, right? So, and you make, in the streets, you make more money during a drought. Why? Because you can sell shit for higher prices because everybody ain't got shit, right? But in the market, if it's a drought, then shit on sale, right? So the best time to buy stocks is not when the shit is booming. When it's booming, you want chill. You want to let your shit run. Like, let your trap do what it's supposed to do. But when it's in a drought, now you won't buy more. Why? Because now you can get the same assets on sale. You make the most money. Because if you buy something for fifty dollars and the shit shoot up to a hundred dollars, you good. But if you buy it at a hundred dollars and it's already maxed out, it got to come back down. You feel what I'm saying? The market has to come back down. So that's what it does. So for me, that shit just when I put it like that, to me, it just makes sense. And now I can explain to people and be like, maybe like, oh, that's what that shit. Mr. Wall Street, I want to sell some that crack. <laughs> cool, you want to do on day trade. I'm going to be like, yo, that shit is serious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for even me, when I do options, it's like, again, it's like selling bricks because you buying shit at wholesale. So instead of buying one stock, you may buy, you got to buy a hundred of them, right? So that's like what options is. So you got to buy a hundred of them bitches at a time, but you get them at wholesale prices. So if a stock costs, let's say Apple costs $162 right now. Well, if you used to buy some options, you can get a hundred of them, but you, you can get them from like $5 a pop. You feel what I'm saying? And you saying, okay, well, in this certain amount of time, that shit gonna hit this price. If it hit this price, yo, you can make an infinite amount of money. But if shit don't hit this price, shit, I can only lose this certain amount of money. So you break even? No, you gonna lose, right? So it's, it's the equivalent of saying, I can buy some wholesale shit, or I can buy some nickels and dimes. You know what I'm saying? So if you've been in the street, you like, oh, I get that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like running in the trap and saying, let me get 16 bricks, but throw me four nickel bags in there. You did. You got it. Okay. <laughs> so it just makes sense. I just want four nickel bags. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, I ain't going to take no chance with that weed. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> but the best way to build wealth in the game is buying good companies and just holding that shit. Yeah. That's the best way to... Mr. Wall the Street the Trapper. Bill. Give me an example on that. Like, on what? Um, Buy and hold? Yeah, oh yeah. So let's say I like, I say I like Apple, mm -hmm. right? If, if we look at everybody in this room, I can probably bet that 60% of these people in here probably got an iPhone. You know what I'm saying? 60% of the people in here probably got an iPhone. So I can say, okay, do I see myself, do I see Apple going out of business with that now within the next 10 years? Do you see that? No. Cool. So. We figure out what Apple work, we buy the Apple stock, and we just hold that bitch. And we just let that bitch make money for us. Now, here's the thing. Every day that that shit making money, we making money. Because when you buy a stock, you part owner. You a part owner of this shit. So now you own that shit. The reason why we can't build wealth is because we don't own shit. We know the price of everything, but don't know the value of nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We don't own shit. Yeah, People we got to leave some niggas behind, though. I think that's that the harder part. It we be trying to, to save everybody. Everybody don't want to go. Because you want everybody to... Not because there's so much happiness in being ignorant. It is. It's blissful. It's, yeah. it's so blissful. It's because... I'm getting woke down right there. That's what we've been programmed. Yeah. Again, it goes back to mm -hmm. if I give you the information, mm -hmm. then you can now be equipped like I'm equipped. Mm -hmm. The lion don't never tell the zebra how to... Yo, how I caught him. 
The lion will never do that, right? Because if the lion tell the zebra, how he catch him, the zebra gonna tell the giraffe, the elephant, and everybody else. So now the lion ain't at the top no more. Motherfucker trip me. You feel me? <laughs> You're going to either be a financial predator or a financial prey. If you're a financial prey, I can eat off you for, and I can eat off your kids, I can eat off your wife, I can eat off your children, children, because ain't nobody got the information. Nobody got the information, so I can eat off you forever. You're a lifetime customer, man, if you don't get no information. You're a lifetime customer. Speaking of customers, welcome back to the 85 Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got a Wall Street Trapper crash course. My question to you today, America, is do you want to sell bricks, heroin, <laughs> or marijuana? You did. <laughs> they did. And, the, and all that shit on the stock market. Yeah, man. Marijuana on the stock market. Marijuana. Like, y'all smoke. Y'all should own like IIRP, right? That's a company that leases land to marijuana growers. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. feel me? They lease land weed. to marijuana. If you smoke weed, why you you smoke weed? You should own marijuana stocks. You should own Scott's Miracle Grow. Why? Because they're the number one fertilizer of all the weed companies. Now, see, I own my marijuana. This is mine. But I don't own the ground. There you go. That it came from. So we need to change that. I don't own the bags. You don't own the that bags. That it was put in. <laughs> I don't. I don't own the trucking company mm. that they drive all this good weed mm. to all these cities. They drive it. Why you think it's trucks on the road all the time? You be looking up, the shit on the ground. Fact. That's how they get you. They make you look up when the shit's down. <laughs> so the sky ain't never been the limit. It ain't never been the never limit. Clayton told you that an hour ago. The Come ground on, is the limit. No, it's not. Come cool. on, man. It's, hey, man, life is not about nothing that you know. You got It's look all in how you perceive this shit. If yeah. you live over here, that's some gangsta shit. Well, they have put you in this situation. You don't know what the fuck going on over there. You only know this shit. It's a fucking trap. That's Can you why it's that name. Shit? Hey, life ain't about it. what you know, man. God. It's not about what you know. It's all in about how you perceive shit. That's heavy. Because yeah. what you gonna shit, do with that info? The shit that changed your life is outside of the shit that you know. <clears throat> and the fucked up mm -hmm. part is. You already know everything. Mm. It's about exercising and using it. Mm. It ain't nothing that this man can tell you that's going to make you actually go do the shit. That's facts. Because you already able. If you wanted to do it, you would have been done it already. It's not new. It ain't new. But see, the thing is, people listen to you talk that shit, and they like they feel like you're going like to accidentally say something, and they're going to be able to make one play and be exactly where you at and be like, oh, oh nigga, no. I did this. Oh, yeah. All I did was this. Right. They want to simplify everything, mm -hmm. but they don't understand. Right. It's a do work. Right, you got to yeah. do the work, man. You can't just jump out there and start investing $50,000. You don't even know what the fuck you doing. You're going to end up on them for $300,000. Yo, I just said that. <laughs> I just said nigga, that. Nigga, you going to be lost. You're going to be lost. Hey, man, they said it was a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker jumped all the way up to $6,000. Hey. And that shit is worth it. <laughs> What? How much is that? It's, it's zero point zero zero. Nigga, is it, nigga, how much is that? You mean to tell me this shit is worth a half of a half of a penny? And that shit exists. Hey, bro, my my boy Sean, he he told me he done bought like uh ten thousand dollars worth of penny stocks and shit. And he's like, hey, man, you into that shit? That shit, big. he ain't won nothing yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He ain't won nothing yet. Oh, that penny stock. It's the reason why that shit a penny. It's the reason why that shit a penny. Nobody fucking with it. No, I ain't fucking with that shit. That's, that's like that's that like, mean. Don't yeah. nobody believe in them yet. Yeah, I don't fuck with no penny stock. Don't nobody want to look at that shit to write it around a dollar. All right, make it moves. No. They making moves. That shit and went from one half of a half of a third of a penny. That's how rich, that's how the wealthy people do on robbery. I'm doing everything I see penny some wealthy people doing. They, I heard motherfucking. Oh, I uh, see what you're about to do. Not because they can, they can. Be, so when you're on a big market like the S&P, Dow Jones, they got regulations. So certain shit they can and cannot do. Yeah. With them penny stocks, that's like doing some underground shit, back office shit, back door shit, black market, black market, market shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so now ain't no rules. Just get it how you live. So that's strong, that's strong on robbing right there. They Man, you can start a company for a penny that's stock. That's a fact. Run the bag up to 700,000 and yeah. then act like, and, and man, that shit never existed. Yep. I don't know. You, you, you fuck out of my face. local economy be like, trap. Right. Local say, trap. I got, trap, let's, 
Let's dump some money in this shit. It's our own shit. Let's dump some money in shit. Make that shit run up from a from a half a cent to three cent. And right. now, once people see that movement, they gonna run in it. It's already moving. Trap, we chill. Let's chill. Once that been run from three cent to 15 cent, trap, let's pull our money. Because we got in at a half a cent. Shit is at 18 cent now. We done turn 100K to 2 million right quick. Here's what we gonna do. We gonna take all the money and now you stuck with it. On robbery, strong on robbery. I know. And you can't do nothing about it. Now we, now we going to the next one. Lou, let's start another one. Holy shit. Strong on robbery. Shit is just like a street. That's what you saying. saying to get your money. That's what the fuck he was doing. That's my boy. No, no, that's, <laughs> that's what he's saying though, Jack. This nigga here. What he's saying though, Jack. Man, like, fuck you, Sean. <laughs> you a bitch ass nigga, bro. Hey man, we don't do that. We don't do all that. We don't do all that on this show. We don't do all that beefing and shit. Hey, I'm just bullshit, my nigga. I see what you tried to do. I see what you tried to do. This already a trap. We don't need all that arguing shit. You almost got me. You almost got me. Nah. Take that shit down the street, man. I'm sorry, bro. Not in my trap. Not in my trap. I flashed out. You flashed out. I know the nigga 10 years. He, he probably wasn't trying to get you. Trying to put, nah, he put you on some game. Bullshit. He ain't yeah. want shit yet, though. But, that, but mean, that's how America worked, man. Uh, this shit is one big trap. Everything, bro. that's why niggas out here losing. <laughs> you got to apply the streets to the... Everything. To, they got a legal way you could do everything, that's man. That's it. Yo, I got chills in my spine right now. But, man, once you... And, that's good, else. <laughs> and once you understand... <laughs> what you starting on this nigga? What, what you, you trying to get me, man? Hey, man! <laughs> Answer me on FaceTime. Once you try to tell me, you try to strong on me. Penny Stock. <laughs> really, nigga? Penny Stock. Really good. We 10 years in and you do this shit to me. You do this shit to me. You do it to me. Yo, boy. Hey, man. You look at the phone. Me. <laughs> you do this shit to me. Hey, hey bro, the nigga took me to Spun Divis and everything. Laid the whole shit out, man, because you know I like to see That was a date. You know like was a date. <laughs> oh, he was baiting him. He was baiting him. Yeah, he was baiting him. You know I like to see him. He was baiting him. This nigga, yeah, man. <laughs> he got the weirdest story. <laughs> I was watching some Warren Buffett shit. He kept talking about that Berkshire Hathaway, oh, right? Yeah. I'm like, nigga, I gotta get in on this shit. Yeah, nigga, that shit six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I own the other one, but you can get the B. I was like, nigga, get on. I was like, fuck, I don't want the B. I'm like, nigga, give me six hundred dollars worth of that shit. Ooh. Give it in. Get it in. Let blood. me tell you, let me tell you how dope that shit is. So we talked about buying hold, right? Picture when he first got that shit. It was thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. When he first got that shit, shit's five hundred some thousand right now. Yeah, Jack, you ought to invest in. But here's the thing, though. Strap holsters and it's shit. It's about a 30, 30 year time span. He good though. That's the thing. You know what yeah. I thought it was? Hold on, over thirty years. So, for, for when, so when he first got it, when he first got it, it was probably like 1950, 60 something. 60 something, something like that. We're gonna get him on. It's 13th, man, I'm coming. Come on, man. Man, we gotta get Warren Buffett on. I think we aiming to. That's my goal. He said, buy what you, he said, buy the stocks that you buy. That's a fact. What you was just saying, buy, yeah. if you buy the shit, well, somebody gonna, else buy We're gonna do some research, man. Yeah. yeah. He do wanted him. He'll come for a million. He ain't getting no million dollars from me. <laughs> that nigga ought to bring me a million dollars. That nigga should, he fuck with you, low. He, he should. Yeah, and he got an old school. Yeah, come. A Cadillac. He got an old school. Same one he been having. Shout out to Warren Buffett. Shout out to the GOAT, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to the GOAT, man. I wonder who the black man version of that is. Um, his name is Reginald Lewis. What'd he do? So he's the first black man to build, make, build a billion dollar um, in a company on the stock market. That's who we got to get. He passed away. God damn it. Man. Who the new one? Uh, we got a new one. It ain't no new nigga. We got to like be that. a one not billionaire nigga. We we got got a billion. Billion. Was this a billionaire? Oh, just a billionaire? One right. one. They got a few of them. They got a few of billion. Whoever the nigga is that don't nobody know who need to be known. Get a few billionaires. You, you, you ain't got no business dying with a billion dollars, bro. Huh? It, you know, you know, that shit sounds crazy. I've been using this internet shit all wrong. It's so many people on YouTube who just have rich motherfuckers giving them shit all That's the time. We ain't asked for shit. Rich motherfuckers who watch this show. Let's go. Give me some money. You ain't doing <laughs> shit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. But buy my friendship. I'll be your best friend for one year for one million dollars. You gonna teach him some shit, I know. I know, man. This is a rich motherfucker who watched this show on the low. Family don't know. Ooh. A lot of them. Yeah, man. He's sick of life. Hold on, this, no, this is this, how they this what we need to do. We need to start a friend business, bro. Jack, you know, only niggas you. Niggas can pay us to be their friend. That's only you, Jack. I can Use see, me. 
though. I can see that. You, uh, nigga, I hang out with your ass every day. I'm in it. What you if you like making quips? I'm gonna make quips with you. All that shit, bro. Jack, you damn sure a good best friend, man. I'm Jack told everybody that we was best friend. How did that go? Hold on, how did that work? Jack came <laughs> in and told the whole oh, world you? me and him was fucking best friends. We're not best friends. Sound like he just finding out some new shit, though. Nah, man, that's my best friend. Okay. Because if you treat them normal, they act normal. Okay. <laughs> you know how that shit go. I know how that shit go, man. Clayton almost burnt that nigga with the blunt. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> You're a nigga longer than you. <laughs> oh, I ain't in no competition with you, bro. By no means. I just want my little friendship the way it is and whatnot. I'm not trying to get in the way of nobody. This nigga's so strange, man. <laughs> I'm gonna support him next time. I like that, man. I I'm, need that. Whatever you down with, I'm down with it too. I mean, I gotta ask a hypothetical question. <laughs> Talk One, to me, Lord. Somebody watching this shit. It's Talk a nigga to. somewhere in some hood who got a Robin Hood app and a thousand dollars. He don't know what to do. What would you tell him, Trap? Invest in fintech, financial technology. That's the way to that fintech and all shit. Sick no, man, no, no, no. god damn. <laughs> nah. So fintech is um. <laughs> they might make it though on the crazy part though. So I think. It's pharmaceutical. So, so the world changing. Most definitely. Right? And so the dope part about us now is we looking at the world changing. We watching it. So fintech is financial technology. So financial technology is PayPal, Square, Cash App. Um, when you think about when you online and you Stripe, right? All this this, this financial technology. Yeah, the, Apple, the, Pay, like Apple, Apple Pay, Zelle, Zelle yeah. Google Pay. Like, so invest in fintech because people wow. are gonna start spending more and more money that's it that's and, and think about this so there's always a financial revolution that happens there's always a revolution right the, the way we use money the way we spend money that should always change <clears throat> right if you think about it, in the beginning it was using you know cattle and then they were using a barter system at first mm. then they went to you know livestock and cattle then mm. we went to um you know gold diamonds pearls right mm. then we gravitated to ious mm. then we got to the monetary system we have Right then we got off of that and went to um, the gold standard. So first we was using gold to back money. Then in 19, I want to say 71, something like that, they took it away. So now the dollar wasn't backed by nothing. Right. So now they can print as much money as they want. Then we got into credit cards. Mm. Right. So credit cards was the first wave. Like yo, we don't even really have to have money. People, stop using credit. Stop using debit cards. Always use your credit card. Stop using your debit card. You don't make no money when you use your debit card. Facts, yeah. Right? Stop using your debit card. Use your credit card. You get a credit card, burn a credit card up, use it. Oh, my shit would be hot. Go, go kill your credit card in moderation because you're going to earn points. You're going to earn. That's money. Yeah. That's free money. That's then you can money. use the points whole, to pay the fucking bill. Whole trip off the points. Off the every points. Day so, points yeah, really you get discounts on every day. Yeah, you should get like, a real credit card, though. You can't go get a green debt. Nah, get a real you car. You got to get a real car a real from car. a real company. Yeah, look at, car. Make sure no, you pay no. attention to that goddamn interest rate. Yeah. They'll fuck you on yeah. that. Use your credit cards, man. Stop using debit cards. Debit. Was, for example, what's a real credit card? Like, like get your a Visa, Visa American, American Express, American Express. American Express. Express. If you get American Express, that, that's, a, that's a banger. It's everywhere you want to be. It's a banger. <laughs> um, <laughs> Until it ain't. Stop promoting that yeah. shit. So yeah. a lot of people, a lot of companies be... So Matt, American Express actually is a gangster because... It makes the person who, whatever business you go to, they gotta pay for you using their credit card, for you using, for them accepting American Express. They gotta pay. My buddy be like, no, no, no. Yeah, they be like, no, 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 no. But big store, like usually, like that's that's what financial literacy is too. It's understanding and learning, like how to make money, how to use money, building that relationship with our money. Again, we can't never build well because we don't got no relationship with money. Yeah, you spend money without getting like nothing for it. That's what he's saying. It's like get the, for us. using a credit card, you can get, you get once money. you spend a certain amount, they what give you a certain amount. What the man said, married to the game, me and money live together. They live together. You, and it's like, so rappers be saying a lot of good financial shit, man. You got to catch it. And I be kind of like saying, like, so for the longest, like, rappers been, like the gatekeepers of our culture, right? But I want because they the fat, they the, they the go from like you said from zero to millionaires overnight. Mm -hmm. I feel like they had the fastest route to the money. They did. It's not like they have to be an NBA rookie for a season mm -hmm. and wait on that check. Yeah. Like they they have a direct route to the money. 
Just but like, they got a direct route to losing that so shit. This, too. So this is what I want. Like in my mind, so I remember telling my partners then one day, we went to um this, we went to like this money bag your after party. It was at the not the dome, but the new thing they created. That's the cross from the dome, the white thing, it's the tents or whatever that shit is. Yeah. So we went there, man, and we had got a section, and then like we was next to money bag yo, and I saw that, like I saw how the crowd went, and I told my partners, I said, I said, we we got a job to do. We got a we got an obligation to teach our people how to make money. I said, rap is, I'm 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 cool with rap. Like that should be all of our life stories, right? But what I would want is for rappers to start implementing financial literacy in this shit. I don't know how they're gonna pull it off. You feel me? These niggas can What you call it? These niggas. Mickey Fax did it before. He did something dope. Money Man knew album called money, Blockchain. Money, money, like me and Man Man, we be in the DM talking. Shout out to Money Man. Like he Hell understood. Yeah. He get it. He get to it. And so that's what I'm I want. With the rapper with fucking with the coin bag. Yeah, <laughs> bump me some polka dot, bump me some. Yeah, he on it. So I want, I would like rappers to start talking about financial literacy. Why? Because they got the, they got the culture ear. So, like, think about that this. That should be hard, too, especially if they start telling the truth about start the lady telling robbing them and shit. If you start, these niggas robbing me. Exactly. Instead of, like, so think about this. Call somebody because it's a robbery. There's, 20, there's 24 hours in a day. The average person on social media, listening to music, or looking at TV for at least 10 hours a day. At least 10 hours a day. This is a fact. Well, I can beat that. Right? We're so talking average. So, and if there's seven days in a week, that means the average person spends 70 hours Looking at social media, looking at TV, listening to music. Think about this. Whatever you tune into shapes your reality. Mm -hmm. Whatever you tune into tunes your mental. That's it. So now you think, you take that 70 times 4, 7, 14, 20, 20, that's 20, that's 280 hours in a month. For free. You dig? So whatever you listen to for 280 hours has shaped your reality. Now check this out. Let's go even deeper. Whatever 280 times 12 is, right? So it's almost 3,000 hours. Right? You done looked at TV, looked at social media, listened to music. That shit has 100% altered how you react to situations. It done altered what you think is cool, what you think is not cool, how you feel, how you feel what you think. Is, that shit has shaped your mindset. That's so, why you don't get no hoes. So, oh, God damn. Because all you listen to is rappers <laughs> calling you a bitch ass nigga and you calling you me? a pussy and you listen to speaking the wrong down. You like gospel music. I don't, yeah, I don't listen to people tell me shit like, really like that. And how you gonna take my bitch and all this other I don't wanna hear that. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I've seen no. you in action. <laughs> when, when, when have you ever hear, heard me listen to some shit where nigga punking me on on, on, on set? <laughs> don't make me don't make me get so started. Exposed. Don't I'm, exposed. Not, I'm not that type of. Yeah, I'm don't, not don't that be that type of friend. friend. There you go. Because I don't there want you to go. remind him. There you go. Of what he got away from. Yeah. yeah. And you don't remind him of the dude who just tried to get his money when took him to spend dinner. Oh, you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what the fuck the last song I listened to. Watch this. But check it out though. So. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'll order for him. If he we, wants the bucket. He want, give him the bucket. Give him the bucket. <laughs> Sit down the food. What's the best drink? drink? What the give fuck is the best drink? <laughs> when so, did you order this? <laughs> um, but if we think about it and we look at it like that, we said, so why is it, why is it so, why is it so easy for me to kill somebody? Why is it so easy for me to want to shoot somebody? Because we listen to that shit all the time. Sorry, Shannon. You feel me? Why is it like, and it, and we the only for ones us, that do it. For us, it's, I'm speaking my life. Mm. But if we think about it, where else did it come from? Mm. So everything that they show us on TV mm. is that. Everything right. that we hear is that. Hey, I was just um, looking at um, uh, an interview with T.I. He was talking to Pierre, and he was talking about how uh, Grand Theft Auto. All that shit. That it, it's cultivating all of that. But you know, when it I was, was coming right, up and I'm playing the Street Fighter and all that other shit and whatnot, I didn't want to go do that. But I like what he said too. It ain't just that. It's it's it it's, 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 it's uh, the music, bro. Like we tapped in that shit. But again, it's me speaking what I see every day. Mm. So it ain't that it's it's, it's wrong, mm. but because I'm speaking my truth. Mm. But if we can start saying, one of these moves. So it ain't even on the right frequency. It, the that's music it. ain't even tuned to the right frequency. That's, oh, now you tapping in. You respond you tapping positively. In. You tapping in. Yeah. What, what you mean on the right frequency? So Bruno Mars, if you listen to Bruno Mars, the freak, I forgot what the frequency is that he has that. It's uh, mega. This that, bitch not that, that, one, on that please me, baby. Come on. That frequency that is on. Okay. So music frequencies bring you to different levels okay right they 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 so if you listen to i listen to this thing called um 
Um, damn. H, H53, I think that's what it's called. Uh, and it's a frequency that brings your, your spirit up. It brings your mental focus up. It brings you up. Yep, you know that's the NBA young boy shit. It, it brings you up. You need you that. You gotta listen to that nigga. A lot of NBA people, young man, boy? that nigga make it feel like you can do anything. NBA young boy? Nigga, I'm telling you. I don't think <laughs> I mean, you energy, I don't know about young boy, man. man. Young boy, the energy that boy. nigga put into his music. <laughs> young boy had a casket on his wall. I was he like, get young boy, don't man, get that off, nigga get come, that off like, the wall, I don't understand bro. that shit, He's going through something, That nigga make it feel like you can do any fucking thing, nigga. Like, that shit come on, that shit, you like... I kick this motherfucking wall down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that anything. That no, type he, of yeah, anything. Yeah, 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 but that shit just make you feel yeah. like if you um. Yeah, I think I agree. Like, like I nah. don't even know what this nigga mad about, but I'm mad about this shit too. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I don't want to feel that way, nigga. I'm telling you, it ain't a lot of motherfuckers who can yeah, make you. I don't want to be mad. See that about, about somebody else's problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got my own. Oh, mad about my problem. Yeah. Nah, yeah. but it's like one of them things where it's like, nigga, go off, talk your shit. These bitches deserve every piece of it. It's only a few, <laughs> few rappers that can make me feel like that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, I shit, some shit just moves me. Mm, mm. Some shit I'd never be able to listen to. Yeah. I don't know if you're on that frequency. But, but that's what I want. I, w I would rather, I find out. because artists have so much influence on the culture. Yeah, and they don't understand. They Everybody's don't head wasn't shaped when they was a baby. Oh, so God. people receive <laughs> information different. That's a fact. Some yeah. people think that, like, some people believe wrestling is real. Right. Mm. Still be going like a motherfucker. Mm. Did you just see this dude just ran up on one of them wrestlers in yeah. real life? Tried to yeah. tackle him, man. But he don't understand. Nigga, you watching wrestlers. All them niggas is bigger than everybody. That's a fact. And even if they not, these motherfuckers was athletes in high school. They've been wrestling fact. since they was seven, eight, That's a nine. Fact. They granddaddy was wrestling. That's a fact. And they will wrong. naturally beat the fuck out of you. Fact. <laughs> naturally. Now, just, hello? The worst nigga, the worst wrestler you don't respect will beat the fucking brakes off you and put you in one of them holes that make you shit on yourself for real. Yeah. Nah, that's a fact. Not only beat, literally beat the shit out Choke of you. you out. Hey, right. you, you know who whooped nah. my ass? They can make it real, uh, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> John DeBones Jones, I tried him. Why? Yeah, because uh, I, I was like, cause he was smaller than me, so, and I thought I was like, this, I know I can whoop this nigga. That nigga lethal. And he folded my ass up. He's taller than you, like, ain't he? Yeah, he was a little taller than me. Hey man. But this I video of Jack Thriller boxing on the internet, he got his ass. I'm going to look at that guy. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't say I got my ass. I would. <laughs> it's the sound of a motherfucker got their ass whooped. I would. I wouldn't say. Anytime a motherfucker say I would. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say I got my ass whooped. Of course you wouldn't. <laughs> it's never wouldn't. It ain't up to you. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> You are not the judge of this shit. <laughs> it's levels of ass work. And you took all of them. <laughs> you started out good for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, man. I was on his ass, right? <laughs> I was fucking that nigga for 20. Then whoa, I whoa, 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 whoa. Sure. Say something else. Say something else. I was, I was winning. Say, say something else. I was, I was been very progressive inside a positive direction for, <laughs> with this fight. Okay. And then I started losing energy mm. because I'm not conditioned for that. It was windy. <laughs> that's how a fight works. Yeah. But see, that's what, I thought we were fighting. No, he was boxing. He was boxing. <laughs> And it's different. a difference. Big difference. Yes. Yeah, stamina, all that shit. Technique, going. angles. Yes. This nigga yeah, don't smoke fight, cigarettes I or nothing. i beat his ass. No, you wouldn't. Because uh, all he would have to do is box you. The same thing would so have happened in a real fight, which is worse. Yeah, if, if you were if, oh, so. Oh, yeah, 100%. If you go back and watch the footage on that first round. The footage. If you, if, if you check the tape. It, if you, <laughs> check the tape. If you check the tape first round, I'm on that nigga's ass. Run it. But well, not really the first round, it's the first 20 seconds. Yeah, for what? Whoa. It was, round if you had, had a few more seconds on that, because there were two minutes and 30 seconds in, to the shit. Your verbiage is crazy. Yeah, it was about two minutes and 30 seconds in there. And I, I, I was throwing that nigga around, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, uppercutting and shit. I was, 
Nick, so I you had a good 20 seconds in you. You know, like when you're in the fight and you're losing, everything you do look good to you. Like, you good. He, he'll make it sound like he None was, of that shit look good to dope on camera. He ain't gonna make I'm gonna it sound like he was on some Mike Tyson shit. Like he was all fundamentally yeah, sound. Like, wasn't ready. Man, this motherfucking uppercut that I'm talking about was basically a windmill. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got on Jack Rose. Jack's fire windmill down there. Go on now. <laughs> Get off me. And this is how you know you get your ass moved. That's how you look. What nigga get punched in the back? You not supposed to get a nigga in the back. Yeah, you know what it is, nigga. Damn, that nigga hit me in my back, bro. That means you was getting away. That means yeah. you was trying to leave that shit. That means <laughs> that mean you didn't want no more parts of that shit. Oh, this nigga trying to walk away. This nigga trying to walk away. This nigga still boxing the nigga, bro. Yeah, you didn't want no parts of that shit. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, that means at, at some, at like some point, that means at some reaching. point you realized this wasn't going the way you yeah, thought. Yeah, I'm not a fighter. This after 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm not. After 20 seconds, man. That was all he had. I didn't understand why I was in that ring. I'm like, why? God, why? I know you wouldn't put no more on me than I can bear. <laughs> but how long else I got to be in this motherfucker? I, I had to quit. Jack, that shit crazy. When your man. arms go up like that. Hey, man, yeah. welcome back to the 85. You did. Yeah. If you ever boxing, don't you ever let a nigga punch you in your back. Yeah, I'm going to fuck you up. Did the referee let that nigga punch me in my back? Well, you got to protect yourself, Jack. I was trying. That's the first rule of the thing. It was on my blind side. side. Oh, damn. Hey, man, what you know about the metaverse? I just bought some land in there. Yeah. Oh, shit. We bought some land. We were just, I wasn't going to ask about the crypto, NFT, the metaverse. You bought some land in the metaverse? Yeah, man. It's the real world, right? Shit. Got grass on it? Yeah, I got to develop it. So, oh, let me shout this out, too, man. I just bought 40 acres of land, too, man. I saw what? that. I saw that. That's what's up. That's me, and my, me, and my, me and my fam, 500, man. 500? Yeah, Him 500? Yeah. 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 It's the bro. We just went bought, we just bought 40 acres of land. Nice. Um, we're going to turn that shit to a dairy farm, and we're going to grow our farm vegetables and shit. That's the fam. Shout out to the CEO. The goal is to get 100, though. There's another 70 around it, so we won't get the whole thing. It's totally our whole thing. But yeah, I just bought a, I bought a plot next to Atari in the metaverse. Uh, I'm about to go to the other spot, Decentraland. And look for a spot next to uh, Nike. So what you do with it? So I would sell bootleg shit. So you can do whatever Nike. you want. That's a fact. I would sell Nike next to Nike. That's some dope. Sh the knockoff. That's me. That is a fact. Nokis. These, so, these, these, these. Nike. The, the Kainis. The the metaverse. Spell it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> like you want that. some Kainis? <laughs> <laughs> we got a new pair of Kainis on, got man. <laughs> Nike be mad as shit. They be the kill me, bro. They be the send a drone to my house. So you just think about the metaverse. Bro, you say, hold up, before you say that, bro, we do need some black people sneakers, man. Some mm. more. We got, we got. Uh, I rock with a black I rock with We dropped the ball. We don't have no fucking shoes that's just called tennis. Mm. Like the old people say, boy, get them tennis out of it. Yeah, mm. we need some just tennis. I rock with cool Kai. We do shoes. Some shit. It should have been. He needs to send me some shoes out. I Lonzo call them shoes. Ball. No. Lonzo Ball. <laughs> Big Ball. <laughs> Big Ball. <laughs> Big Ball. <laughs> Big ball, ball right that, my, my shoes must be in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Nike. <laughs> That's what I got, man. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. <laughs> Hey. Nah, I fuck nah, with it, man. Uh, give me a piece of land in there. Nah, so the metaverse. How is, you got the shit? Man, I had a team, man. So we just went on where we was looking for. So we bought we bought that land in um, sandbox. Uh, so that's one of the metaverses that they have. And basically, like that's I'm, I'm gonna buy something when they start the porn on there. No, 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 no. Ain't no porn. No, no, no. no. They're not gonna put. But they gonna have porn? porn on there. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna have porn. But what it's you can do is, porn in the, they have, yo, they need to buy some porn. They gonna have everything in there. And so, so just think about this. No. This this how crazy this is. Niggas ain't never gonna go outside. Niggas ain't about to go outside anyway. Check What's this about out. to happen? Everybody gonna be in the metaverse. We're gonna Think about out. this. We gotta go outside, Yo, bro. bro. If y'all all inside, I'm gonna be outside acting goddamn that's what I'm, They about to take everybody, bro. So here's the thing. Like, Not let's me. Talk, let's talk where about we, this. Where we going? So when the pandemic first happened, that was the time for them to make a hard shift in the world. The world had to shift to whatever is coming next. Right? There's always a revolution. There's always, a, I'm sorry, there's always an evolution that's going to take place. But you can't have an evolution without a hard shift. They got to keep transitioning the world to something else. In order to have that hard shift, something catastrophic got to happen. Right? Something catastrophic got to happen. And they got to have casualties to walk. Right? So, this is what they figured out. So, now we're going to integrate financial technology. 
So we integrate <coughs> that. And now we got to find another place where we can create. It's not coincidence that you see three of the richest men in the world start going out of space at the same time. It's some money up there. It's, it's not a, like, the shit's not a coincidence. You feel me? That shit, that shit, they ain't just wake up one day like, oh yeah, let's just go out of space. Oh, you wanna go too? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go too. No, they saw something like, okay, like we gotta transition to some new shit right quick. So the metaverse, what that shit gonna do is, they realized this during the pandemic, but that's everybody crazy. was at. I didn't even think about that shit. They did come out with that shit after they went out of space. Out of space. Who the fuck they talked to? That but think about this, though. They let's want go you to be in the metaverse while they go do all their space Let's go further. Shit. Let's go further. I think about this. Total Recall. Yes. Dennis Quaid. Think about that shit. That shit, they been, they been tapping up, tapping into this shit. We just laid to know it. Well, you know, they find like, okay, let's do it. So let's think about this. So think about somebody who, in a pandemic, this started. Let's start doing virtual work. So Zoom, people having to stop, people stop going to the office. That's one step. Now, if you don't got to come to the office to work, you can work from home. All right, cool. Let's see how successful this could be. Okay, this shit really successful. All right, cool, I can go to work from home. Yeah. Okay, cool. Plan, plan B. I mean, what's the next stage? Okay, how do we get people to start buying shit? Right, buying shit, okay? When people <coughs> go in these games, Fortnite, Travis Scott did a whole concert inside of Fortnite. A whole concert inside of Fortnite. Okay, cool. Damn, I wish you had a better example. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna say nothing. I, I mean, mean I, I, I have to, I have a responsibility. Let's go, I appreciate I, it. <laughs> Tory Lanez made a million dollars off damn NFT. God damn. damn, I went from bad to worse, right? But this, but this is the way the world going. They making money. Man, that shit make me mad it all over again. Man, I'm not okay with that shit. Real, for real. But that's the way the world going. Bro, I'm so lost and confused right so, now. So, so you know what you need to do? You know NFT. Educate. Okay, when we get in the metaverse, guess what? That app comes in handy. Think that's about this. NFT. Think about this. I'm oh. selling NFT in this nigga eye. How I Think do Think about that. this though. Think about having. You probably can just get the screen put in there instead of that. You can get a screen now. Think about the eighty-five dollars show like a, in the metaverse. Like a barcode scanner in that bitch. But what is the metaverse? That's so think. We start so there. it's a virtual world. So you think, ain't see the video Mark Zuckerberg sent to everybody. So think about this. My, my, he sent it to everybody. Yeah, my man. In your email. Run my Facebook. Yeah. If you no, I'm just think about the eighty-five South show. Well, you a fool. Well, you had me well, being look, on that. Think about you having. Think about you buying a plot of land. Okay. On the metaverse. And then you bring somebody in to develop that shit. And now, y'all doing this show live right here, but also, I mean, y'all doing this shit now, doing this show right here, but in the metaverse, all y'all shows just keep coming on. And people in the metaverse can say, oh, I'm about to go stop at the 85 South Studios and look at the show. And you make them pay you crypto to come watch the show. You making money in there in real time while you chilling right here. And it's virtual. And it's virtual. So it's virtual. It. Us. So think about this too. Okay. So I bought a plot of land. So okay. I teach financial literacy. Okay. So now somebody come in my store and they gotta buy crypto to buy my information. But they learning it in the metaverse. I got a clothing line. Y'all got a clothing line. People putting their avatar in the metaverse with 85 South clothes on. That they gotta pay you real money for. So it's gonna be a virtual world where you really people ain't gonna leave their house. That's about, to dip, that's about to take so many people from reality, yo. <clears throat> and you can also be in, you can be whatever you want to be in that bitch. Metaverse coochie. What you mean I can be whatever I want? I feel like I can be whatever I want now. But, but you, so not. just think about this. So think yeah. about somebody. Think oh, about, you, you don't even know what I want to be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got a host on your it's, back. It's a new Jack. world, bro. I'm private eye, baby. Private and then eye. think about this. <laughs> every, every world is different. So think about every metaverse would be like going to a different state. Strip club. So they got sandbox. They got um, decentraland. What sandbox? So that's one world. That's why I bought. The, that's why I bought my plot at. So sandbox is your city. No, yeah, sa sandbox. Is sandbox. Is and then the dude from the Matrix is your Mr. Yeah, I mean, so Miller. sandbox is one of them. So that's one metaverse. So the metaverse isn't one thing. It's Virtual worlds. It's so you saying on that one sketch that David Chappelle did a long time ago, where it was like in a, like a, in a computer. It was in the internet. Go look yeah, at this thing on um, Ready that Player One. Like that? Go look at Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Go look for that. Go look yeah. at a, at a black mirror. That'll explain it to you. Yeah, we about to be in all this shit. That, all well, that you shit. Have to and they've the already head. made a glove. <laughs> Think about this. They've already <laughs> made like a glove. This. I do like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> they've already made a glove where you can feel. 
real life you can, shit. Yeah, so you like, if you shit. pick this up, you can whatever it feels like in real, you can feel that in the metaverse. So you know what about to happen to that? Porn. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That Some niggas gonna happen. be locked up in metaverse jail for doing nigger and shit. Man, the world is different. So here's what we win. All in the stove eating <laughs> snacks and shit. That's a fact. You didn't pay Wait, for that. Wait, I'm a Bitcoin. I'm not a moon nigger. <laughs> Give me two more subway sandwiches. Yeah, bitch, I just downloaded karate. Don't you fuck with me? I just downloaded karate. Whoop the shit out of all right, the niggas. Right quick. Police outside shooting a nigga. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. Uh, I'm the I'm one. Extra for the neo pack. That's Mr. X. <laughs> I bought that early in the nigga. metaverse. Bought it. I downloaded it. Niggas, <laughs> my space. I own 66 acres of metaverse. That, bitch, you on my property. Too. That shit what real because. Home? This shit crazy. In three days, in, in two weeks, I've seen a plot of land stuff for 2.5 million, 2.4 million, and I think just now. Real money. Real money. Two, the last piece sold for $4.6 million. Digital land. Digital land. So it's limited Can't digital wait land. It's and limited. Digital land. This shit. Okay. Wait, because it can't get on, in on each, this shit. In each metaverse. I just bought a hundred There's only specific. There's only so many plots. It's going crazy. Okay. So I think in Sandbox, there's like 200,000 plots. After that's gone, it's a done deal. Yep. So let's say I don't buy any of this shit, mm-hmm. and I'm still in real life. Yeah. Like, well, what does that leave me? In like real life itself. <laughs> <laughs> in real life. You gonna be the only nigga at the mall. That's a fact. No. The only nigga at the grocery store. Bro, you gotta think about it. So think about it, during the pandemic, how, how many people was on them games all day, every day? Man, I watched Quantum Leap like three times all five seasons. All right, so think about that. If, you, if people sitting in front of their TV all day anyway, what happens when you put them in a world where they can create the life they really want? You ain't never like, because I was by myself the whole fucking time. Holy shit. <laughs> they had me. You was there already. You, you just was in the poor version. <laughs> so check this dope shit out. So this how you can win though. They been talking about this shit. So Since Charlie and the Charlie Factory. Mm. This is a world of pure imagination. Mm. That's oh. it. And that's the dope part. Whatever you get, whatever they can. So now they playing a game. Whatever they can think of, they putting that shit out there. So you can win on the stock market like this too because now you can invest in companies that's developing shit in the metaverse. And guess who's going to be the best at it? The kids, because they've been online the whole time okay, playing the game want. with each other. That's what they want. Because check this out. If your kids locked in on that shit all day, every day, they ain't got time to go be productive and build wealth and do nothing like that. They got you corny. I got to go in the metaverse, Dad. That's a fact. Talking shit. That's we got to slide. Dad, I just made what? $300 million selling crypto again. <laughs> what I tell you about selling the crypto in this house? <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you about selling got them crypto in this house? But it also creates opportunities. For every evolution, there's an opportunity. Tell me. Yeah. I don't want no <laughs> motherfucking crazy. <laughs> this not that kind of family. We're not going to have that in this house. You want to run the metaverse all day? Real life responsibility. Make your bed up. But dad. Clean the bathroom. But dad. The real. Dad. But Turn dad. that damn shit off. But dad. The real bathroom in real life is next. I just bought some more land. I ain't need the real bathroom. I just bought some more land. I just bought some land, dad. I just bought some five NFTs on the From line. this point forward, y'all gonna keep their bedroom door open. <laughs> You're not gonna be in that room all day with that door closed. Uh, Me and your mama was talking, we don't even want y'all. I catch you saying the word crypto. I'm beating somebody's ass. Like a crypto ass whooping. Uh, I tell you what, uh, I tell you what, go in that room and bring me them hard drives with that Bitcoin on. I want all the hard drives. All that big, put the Bitcoin in my room. Not the hard drive, Dad. All of them. And the Unplug all this shit. Unplug. <laughs> Unplug this whole, I'm unplug this whole goddamn room. Once you say unplug it, shit that got real, you say unplug all oh, this shit. Man. Unplug it all. Unplug Hit, all the shit. Hit the switch. Kill it. Hit the switch. Turn it off. I'm, I'm resetting everything. I'm resetting everything. I'm resetting everything. You think you think you're slick. You're going to try to go to sleep all day in the metaverse so you can be up all night. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you marry your ass and then do your homework? 
You need to go to bed. I slept in the middle of the I, I no, want to see you. <laughs> on you the say in the bed. <laughs> on the paper. You slept in the middle of the earth. You were standing up the whole goddamn time. Put your ass in the bed. Take it off. Take the shit off. Take the goggles off now. <laughs> Lay your ass down. <laughs> when the last time you ate something? I ate in the metaverse. <laughs> Go look. The transaction is here. <laughs> I'm full. Oh, look at my energy bars. <laughs> my energy nigga, bars are green. Up. I'm full. Nigga, my energy bars are green. I'm full. I ate a little chicken. You tell you can't stream that. What's the game? Street Man, street. this shit gonna be crazy. Hey, y'all get in that bed. You can't talk to them like that. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> it's me, the bathroom. What? <laughs> nah. But for oh. every for every transition, there's ways to make money. Right. Think about it, like these young, young, young people right now, they making. And two, Clayton already hundred. said they got a pill that make you take a clean boo-boo. Mm. You ain't got to wipe no more. No more, just clean shit. You can wipe, but ain't, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. <laughs> Damn. You just free it. What? <laughs> just free it. You can trust it. You can trust it. <laughs> it's it's the shitless shit. <laughs> You ain't no more wasting time. That's why they putting shit, all this bro. shit in the food. They're trying, I to, need that. they're trying to figure out how to cut, stop all this shit. Because that's what's really killing the Not herd. Food. All the boo boo. It ain't the food, it's the shit. Mm. Fecal matter. Yep. Why, why, why is that? Because we're eating some bad shit. Eating and a lot shit, of bad shit. The shit is smelling worse than it's ever smelled. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we bought Honestly, honestly that's why I bought the farm. Shit ain't breaking down like that. That shit ain't processed. <laughs> that's why I bought a farm, man. That's why I bought the 40 acres, man. That shit ain't right, man. That shit ain't right, man. <laughs> that shit is not breaking down. That shit is not processing. Bro, it's a new doo doo. Nah, no, nigga. It's a new strand. This shit it's just, a new strand. This shit my grandma said, my grandma said, it used to smell like this. This ain't what greens used to do to nobody. Yeah, it's a very new doo doo. just stank, stank like new boo boo all the time. It don't yeah, not the that shit just sit in the house. It's like, it's a, it's a long lasting. Uh, it's every shit that we take is a fresh oh, shit. No. Doo doo 19. Oh, what, no. what you think happened when you flush? <laughs> I never knew. You think boo boo break up in the water? It'd be the same boo boo. <laughs> no, man. They get back together. Stop telling. <laughs> it do. It get back together. That's why we have break a boo boo ball. Don't nobody know what boo boo really like, is. Like oh, the Terminator, that shit. No. Come. The boo boo just be like. <laughs> 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 it make a sound. That's why you got to flush it quick. <laughs> we like back to boo boo. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? You don't walk, you don't walk in on the stack. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell him. I always wondered if it turned into a monster. No. When it get with other people boo-boos and come together. It just get back together, man, and then it's like, no. they don't have nowhere to put this shit. I don't know how so we got So all the shit, we here. here. But we here. From Jesus' day. Oh, all that some, we here. Man, somewhere, uh, it's a big old pile of fresh shit. Don't no, nobody know where to fresh. put it. No, they get it up out of here, man. I know they don't, but I'm saying. Did they burn it? Collectively, it's and that's bad too. The burning shit. When you burn shit, it create a it give off a chemical worse than carbon dioxide. You breathe that shit so in. So real shit though. Four five hours. Real shit. Be fucked up. The <laughs> the fumes that come from shit is worse than cars. I told you, they, they think everything I say just be Real some shit. bullshit to somebody else. It's yeah. gotten worse. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I believe you now. Over nah, the years, the, the shit, no, I believe you now. Shit. Yeah, but what makes it worse is the pesticides that they put on all the shit, the food and shit. That's what makes the shit worse. Yeah, yeah. our body's Real working talk. so hard Real to shit. digest this shit that's that we eating. Mm. Oh. Yeah, your mm. shit. The, the pest. So. The pesticide that's created that they spray on food comes from it was created by the dude who was partners with Hitler, who created the gas chamber. That same shit, America brought it over here and used it for poisons to kill rodents as pesticide. Because they America used to the same it's shit. It's still nasty. The same shit. And so now it's it's fucking all the food up. Yep. And that's the shit that's causing cancer. Yep. We're just living the diet. This That's part. the shit that causes cancer. But this is so morbid. I know, man. Just eat vegetables, man. Boo boo gonna That's why eating the metaverse, Dad. Exactly. That's why it's green. But that, for that shit, though. You fucked up the planet. You gonna yeah. tell me to eat out here? That's why they leaving. 
Yeah. Damn. Damn. They shouldn't need, they need, need to go ahead, though. I feel like But you should, should get property in that because shit. Because we should be able to just have Earth to ourselves as niggas for just about five years or so. Oh, we would be so, yeah. we would find so many advancements. Oh, what the, what, what, we would be in space, too. Quick. So let me say this. No, I'm good. Let me say this. You ain't got to go. So we got the 40 acres of land. I realized why they didn't want to give every black family 40 acres of land. Dang. You saw how much it was. That's a lot of goddamn land. Bro. That's a lot of land. But they had enough to do. They had a lot of land around this big, motherfucker. Bro, an acre is big to a person, that, especially living in like, a city. I stood in the middle of that shit. And I looked around. I said, oh, I get it now. Like, you hit this shit, but then, like, stand in the middle of it. Just think about it. So if everybody in this room is maybe 15 of us. Just think if every one of us had 40 acres of land. It would be straight. That's a... Yo, that's, I just let you know how big America is. They could have gave everybody 40 acres and still had more than us. But here's the thing, though. If we give everybody 40 acres, that's power. Because now you don't need us for nothing. Uh-uh, because 80% of the niggas going to sell their 40. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm going to keep my home. I don't know why that's white people ain't peeped the play yet. That's Whatever they give them, they going to get right back. Man, Mr. White Man, shit. I mean, I fought with that land shit. But I just don't work for you. I don't really just eat it like that. Eat it like that. I don't eat that shit like that. I'm going to sell you 38. I'm going to keep two. I'm going to keep two. For my grandbaby. That's it. For my grandbaby. Yeah. Man, no white folk can't do this motherfucker with $7 million, man. Man, fuck that land, bro. Ain't no farm. Fuck I'm going to do all that grand because I'm not doing it, man. Nigga, that's me. Nah, that shit is a lot, bro. That's, I moved back downtown, bro. Them apartments ain't got down. <laughs> Fuck that acre shit, bro. I'm not stand. I got that room, George. Why they been giving my shit in Atlanta, man? I want my shit where I'm from, Don't bro. Sit. They could have just gave me the whole zone me, shit. I, I would have just stayed. I would have just took. I would have just took Thomasville. Let me get Mechanicville. Bank it in. I don't, hey, bro. Just right there where the blue flame at. Let me have that ball. I just want that back end so I can get some of that highway, some of that interstate. You feel me? Fit some of my shit in, bro. Let me pick. Why, man, let me pick, pick, bro. Why, why, why you want to get my shit? Like the niggas, like the niggas in California got the good shit. They don't even know what to do with that. Man, shit. what the fuck I'm supposed to do with 40 acres in Mississippi, man? <laughs> They got the white folk right now, though, man. The white lady looking right at me. I had to fence my whole party. Man, I had to get whole new fences. She talking about that hug. She talking about that for her. Nigga, them goddamn beers. I'm, hey, I'm off one of them niggas, bro. That motherfucker came right up to my porch, bro, just looking. Had my, my little baby scared of hell. Niggas, um, every nigga ain't, ain't built for 40, man. Nah, dude, that shit is man. a lie. I ain't even lying. I looked at that shit, I was like, damn. It, it was a realization that came over me. I was like, oh. But you got to keep in mind, too, bro. These are white people. You have to negotiate with them. <laughs> just, ah, just can't, ah, can't, can't do 40, black folks. Can't do 40. Not, not the whole thing. I give you, I'll right. give you four a piece. It's <laughs> the best I can do. And, 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 and it has to be in the county line. Yeah. So we can keep an eye on you folks. Yeah. Now that shit is powerful, yo. Like everybody should own some land, man. That's real shit. Gotta own. And then I bought, we bought the mineral rights. So now you own, we own what's under the land too. We own the mineral rights. We own, the, we got three wells on it. So we own the water rights. So we can produce our own water. You don't know what's under there? Or you know some minerals under there? Nah, so when you get the mineral rights, so now we saying, we don't know what's under there, but if something happened. And something come out, hey, if they do the jet clamp it, so they're straight. If a, if a gas line break. Oh. And. The city, we can sue the city. Oh, okay. Because they, they got gas lines running through our land. They don't say that. The city gonna hear that shit and be like, oh, really? You know what I'm saying? So we bought that. Right. We bought the, then they got like 300 pecan trees. So we got the timber rights. So all, so everything on that shit, we own it top and bottom. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, when you buy Y'all about land, to move out there? Nah, we gonna put a, um, we gonna- A ranch? A ranch. We already got a three bedroom house on that bit. That ain't gonna be big enough for the ranch house. I'm not driving all the way out there for no three bedroom. So what you need, look? Now y'all finna have to goddamn start over. Start over? Yeah, man. We need some big shit out <laughs> what there. What we need, look? Gotta let these motherfuckers know, man. We need some big shit, yeah. man. We need about. Tell me about it. Nigga, we need at least 5,000 square feet. For the crib? For the crib. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, this is for the ranch house. Oh, okay. Oh, for the ranch house? Yeah. <laughs> I think we got that, look. You said three bedrooms. It's just three bedroom, three. I think it's maybe about three thousand. Mm -mm. No, 
I'm gonna go look at it. I gotta make sure. Mm -hmm. I gotta go figure out. We gotta go Texas side. Gotta go, gotta if you can't see the shit from the road, we pussy. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I want my motherfucker. What road? Man! <laughs> Oh, bro. Is that a church? <laughs> That's what the motherfucker's supposed to grab by that set. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I feel that. Like. Yeah. I, I like it. I'm going to come out there and build me a little hey, something on there. You know, Put a corner store out there or something. Come Radio with Shack. Come fuck with us. Put, dollar, a store put a Dollar General on that bitch. Mm. Nah. Waffle House? Nah, we just going to milk cows, chicken, and goats. Oh, here you go. Man. What about them pecans? You going to sell pecan? I'm allergic. Don't yeah, sell them. But if, sell I, them. if I got some, if I had, yeah, I'd grow some shit yeah. that'll grow. That's funny. Yeah. But who going to come get it? So we gon' so the goal is to sell it to the It's in Georgia. Yeah, okay. it's in Georgia. Man, you gonna put some peaches on that bitch. <laughs> yeah, we gon' yeah, so we won't the goal is to so my vision was to do the farming. His vision is to do the the retreats and uh, you know, things like that. Yeah, that's why you gotta have that big ass shit look yeah. like the cathedral. So that's what he wanna do. So for me, I'm gonna put we can goats, cows, chickens, and we gonna just grow everything we can grow in that bitch and then sell it to local farmers, because one of the businesses that you never hear people talking about are disrupting is agriculture. Yeah, them, them farmers sue America yeah, all the time yeah, and get all their money. Yeah. And God damn it, we can't sell none of these Russian potatoes. They get, they get so many grants, they get so much, like, they Especially if you're growth, a minority. And you get, people don't, what we don't know is, when you grow, so America is set up for two people, entrepreneurs and investors. Yeah. That's what America set up for. Mm. They get taxed the least. They get the best breaks. If you work a job, you get taxed the most. Why? Because somebody provided you a job. Yep. Right? So they I already heard, calling you a pussy at the gate. They got you. So, and, and, I had to give you that. I had to give you that. Without me, you don't got so <laughs> Pay a minimum wage. I can't afford to pay these Negroes. <laughs> Nothing. So if you're a former investor, you get, I mean, if you're an entrepreneur investor, you get the most tax breaks. The farmers, they double down. They get even more because you now providing America with food. Shout out to the Black Farmers Association. Right. Come on, man. Hey, man. That's what I should have done at FAM, man. I should have focused got on the agriculture route. Yeah, culture, some shit. I didn't focus on agricultural. Me mechanical. and you could have started a million dollar aloe vera business. It's mm. not too late. It's not too late. Mm. Avocados, aloe vera. Mm. A lot of alliteration. Elmire. Whatever. Well, the lightest. <laughs> you can sell those. Well. Hey, no, so some real shit, though. Out front. Oh, yeah, just buy one. I got to find somebody to come out and plant me some more fruit trees, man, because motherfuckers stole all my fruit. I ain't letting that shit go. <laughs> Whoever the bitch you, was. This is, he's not letting this go. This is, this I'm is not. Deep. Cause you had you a bold motherfucker. They came in and picked all your I, fruit. I wish I would have caught your motherfucking ass on that fruit tree. What, what kind of fruit you had? Man, I had some nice shit. It was some nice pears, nice apples and shit. Mm. You, what? you had an orchard? No, it was it, no, it, no. Which one? I was but they were fruit bearing trees. Damn, you can tell. Wait a minute, man. Fruit, man. I'm talking about them motherfuckers had some big, pretty ass pears on them. Man, I ain't what? never seen no fruit in the yard. That's because they were stolen by the time you did. <laughs> the suspect's still at large. The suspect is still at large. But I'm gonna catch these motherfuckers and yeah, put a pair of shoes up in there. How long yeah. ago? This was yeah, this it's was been a while ago. ago. Yeah, been a little minute. That's and crazy. they ain't never grew no more. But I, that's the thing. I don't know if there's a company you can call. <laughs> like they'll come out and like, you know, I think uh, they gotta investigate this. Huh? Let me check your soil. <laughs> think you should go mango. You wanna try it? Let's get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, if it's somebody who has a company like that, I would love to get some fruit. Yeah, man. Put tree it around my property. You can grow them all on the same tree. Mm mm. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, what? So, dude, you put a little notch in any of them trees to grab Hold on, man. Trunk. We just made some black history, man. I, it's a lot of black podcasts yeah. out right now. I ain't heard no niggas discussing fruit tree That's placement. Fact. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. That just lets That's you know fact. how deep yeah. this shit That's goes with the 85 South. I'm about to give me an orchard in the metaverse. Let's and talk in about the it. real world, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do real world you first. You're going to taste the I'm apple juice. Down Ooh. my driveway, I'm just getting fruit all the way down. I might just be able, I want to just be able to stop, grab some. Pluck a pluck a pluck a plum. Let's pluck a plum. Let's pluck a plum. property, bro. I'm going to be real. You said that shit was $4 million. No, that's what that sold something for. Oh, OK. I was like, man, no, 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 no. I ain't spent no $4 million on no goddamn what? I was about to say, man, you just got bored. So here's the door. What, 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 what if I just want a little, what if I just want a little metaverse bando? I don't really need you no probably get that for like, one bedroom. You probably get that for like about five. Five hundred thousand. Five thousand? <laughs> 
five thousand. I give me a little, a little, a little, a little, dunk bando, a bando, a little, a little dunk off. A little You know, it's not much, but it's next what to, I call hot. Next to the <laughs> next to the quick trip <laughs> in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga looking like Aladdin. <laughs> Yeah, that shit real. It's just me and this I'm monkey. Meta I bought an Meta NFT house. monkey. No, that shit real. So here's, here's how you can make money too on the stock market. So you figure out companies. There's a company called like Metaport. So they deal with 2D and 3, 2D and 3D. So they doing development in the metaverse. So if you're in the stock market, you can invest in companies now that are developing infrastructure for metaverse. And so now you making money because it's brand new. Mm. This how we like this. Is why the stock market so dope? Hold up, before you do it, Come on. give them some resources where they can go and pick up some of this game that you've been putting down for. So I'm second. still learning the metaverse. My goddamn, that shit's so new. That's the thing about that shit. It's so new. Everybody's still learning. Yeah. You feel me? So it ain't really like nobody got an advantage on it. So I put that. I put people like trap. How you did that? I got on Google and figured out what's the metaverse. How do I buy land on that shit? You gotta open the account. We open the account on Sandbox. Once we opened the account, we had our crypto Coinbase wallet. We had Coinbase. We attacked, We had to get a Coinbase wallet. We attached the two and then linked the shit to Sandbox, created an avatar. We just went to looking for land. It's going to tell you these are the premium spots. These are the bad spots. Well, not bad. We know where nobody at right now. What you might do is say, okay, like for me, because the premium spots, I already had a nice little bag in crypto because you got to buy the crypto. So I'm like, all right. It wasn't money out of my bank account it was money that i already had in crypto that's a long play for me anyway how much i want for this man buy it where is it it's next to atari okay cool this is this is the equivalent to having property in uh new york and what that is Times square Times square it's yeah. to have something in Times square <clears throat> yeah. man let me get that why because the more traffic come around up the more my property gonna build up and i mean it's just a plot Right? But if I put something on it and people there, I spent whatever I spent for it. Now, three, four years from now, remember this shit is new. Five years from now, 10 years from now, that shit may be worth $10 million. I spent whatever on it. I ain't spent that on it. So that's how you gotta think about it. It's an investment for the future. Yep. If you think in bigger picture, that's why we got an advantage right now. The reason why we got an advantage right now because usually we don't get a chance to see the change happen. Right? We don't we don't be up on it. Yep, this is not gonna do. You got 30 days to get out of here and get in the metaverse. So but now <laughs> we see the shit. I don't wanna get in the metaverse. Every day. <laughs> Fuck that shit. My ex-wife's in the metaverse. I'm not going to the metaverse. Hey, hey buddy. Are you metaversed? No. Are you versed? Are you mm. versed? That's it, bro. That put the goggles on. on. Put them on. Put the goggles on. Then you before you know you have to put a whole fit on. That, that's when that's when the freaky shit gonna start. I cannot wait. You know, you, they gonna have this blanket bro, you can you lay know, on your lap and it feel no, like you get your dick sucked for real. Oh. <laughs> you gonna get the robot head. Oh. Oh. Rosie from the Jetsons. You gonna let bing bing. You gonna let sir. Have you a toaster. Oh, you gonna, gonna wake up. Oh, it's gonna look like, like you in a game of Call of Duty. You gonna turn to get up. In five, four, four three. <laughs> Lay the blanket on your lap. No. Man, no. somebody get Carlos out of there. He been in there over eight hours, man. <laughs> so many people gonna, gonna die in the metaverse. <laughs> so many people die in the metaverse. What happened, man? I can't go back. Why, man? man I'm, I'm dead. I'm, dead. <laughs> I'm, dead I'm just gonna hang out. Right, this, this people gonna be stuck in that bitch for real. With. On the bitch. <laughs> she just keeps sucking. <laughs> 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 so that's the thing too, though. Like, put it out to build that shit. To make sure people don't be dead. You Man, need that. that shit. You definitely need that. Even if you dead in real life, you're still alive in the metaverse. <laughs> you could you could do that. You they could chill with that. Yeah, you're gonna be able to buy infinite life real soon because insurance is gonna be on there. Uh, extra man? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna, buy you gonna be able to go to your funeral and say what you wanna be said. Okay, all right. Who knew? Who knew that one day we would be here? Uh, first of all, that bitch lying. They, they, they lying. I don't know, dude. I don't know why y'all let him speak. I just worked with that nigga for a little bit. It's a bunch of people here I grew up with who should have said something. I'm not being petty. Don't tell me to hurry up. I mean, this is my shit. 
I'm about to lay here forever. <laughs> man, the nigga showed up in the man. metaverse and turned that bitch out, man. Hey, man. Yeah, bitch, I got a metaverse DNA test. Uh, none of them kids is mine. <laughs> Yo, shit. And when you get back to the house, plug me back up. I tell you the rip. <laughs> pull, hey, pull up on me. It's the same address in the metaverse. Oh man. So definitely crypto, fintech. Fintech. Oh, fintech. Financial technology, man. Don't mm. forget that. Crypto, fintech, fintech, blockchain is a part of fintech. That's what's needed for the without without blockchain, crypto don't exist. Yeah, you can't, mm-hmm. can't operate. You know what the I just bought? I ain't even open it. When I get to the crib, yeah. I'm gonna open the fucking Oculus. That's the that's the. Thing. Yeah, I got that shit at the crib already. That, I was boxing on that bitch. I had to show my son that I'm his real father. Huh? <laughs> they got a boxing game on, on that where you had to fight a nigga, but this nigga hit you feel like nigga good. I had to sidestep the nigga. Oh, so y'all was playing uh, online? So it's this boxing game, right? I've seen people play that shit. This motherfucker, when you get knocked out, like, you be all the way from the ring. And you have to run back to the ring. And then it's like, if you, you got get, knocked out the ring? But it's like, you be woozy for real. Place. You be drunk. Like, it's like drunk goggles. Like, this nigga really not knock, like, you really knocked out. Next thing you know, you want to fight for real. You got to fight for your respect. Because you don't want shit. nobody to think in the metaverse you're a bitch. I got some penitentiary shit there. You got to see it. That, I, it looks so fucking, it looked like you really, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Like imagine a motherfucker just sitting there for hours. Yeah. So, I got to get Jack on there, man. I hope he can see it in 3D because he, you know. I'm in, mean, baby. Let's, let's do it. But I ain't going to die for my respect. But I don't, want that <laughs> sh- <laughs> I don't want that shit to make you throw up because you're going to be trying to focus on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? You can count on me, bro. It ain't never been did to me. It ain't been done to me. Huh? It's funny. Hey, man, I want somebody to put that in the comments. It ain't nothing that's been done to me that's been did to me. It's funny. Ain't nothing. <laughs> Ain't nothing been dead to me that's been done to me. It's fun to me. Don't forget that part. No, it's come on. Let's go. You tell the motherfucker. So bring not, it on. everything was fun. Everything didn't happen again. I'm, I'm, it just life lessons, bro. I like life that. lessons. Try, well, they can I'm catch so you. I'm happy to be here. Where well, they can find you at on social media, yeah, all that good shit. Um, Instagram no. wall underscore street underscore trapper. What you got coming up, man? I know you're working on some projects, too. Yeah, some man. little Work media? Fun. Yep, yep, yep. Um, inspired by you all, for sure. Okay, man. Hey, we got to say this, too. We ain't said it yet. Shout out to Earn Your Leisure. Shout out to the bro. I was about to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, between y'all and EYL, I just would shout out to Chad, because Chad give me a game all the time. Um, Man, he be saying that I gave him that game. Oh, for sure, for sure. He'll tell you. Uh, he just be, I be telling him, and he be like, yeah, that's good, that's good. I'm going to tell that shit to Trap. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, stop stealing my shit. I heard Chad repeat so much shit I say it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody repeat the shit you say, Jack. Bro. Only you say this shit. I'm telling you, man. You looking at Chad, you looking at me. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's my homie. I don't know, bro. That's my homie, man. And, and, and I don't remind you of somebody? It's a homie. It doesn't look familiar? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, so we I'm working on um the Well Connect show. That's about to drop um next month. So yeah, man. So we that. It's all good. Yeah, we taking that. Yeah, we taking that. We taking that to another level. We're gonna do a live show. Um, every week, man, we're gonna just break the stock market down in a way that ain't never been broke down. Don't do me a favor, man. Through. Keep buying acres. Yeah. Keep buying. Get 40 more. Yeah, that's the goal to have 110. And get 500. Five, that's what we doing. Low ticket, 500. Nah, bro, sometimes I'm OG approved. Man, you gotta, you, sometimes you gotta think bigger. Yeah. Like the shit gotta be ridiculous. Yeah. You gotta really be aiming for 5,000. So when you get 500, you be like, ah. This shit ain't enough. Stop being realistic, baby. Stop being realistic. I like that. Fuck that shit. I like that. And I'm a, I, I, I consider myself a big picture thinker. So. Hey, hold on. That don't sound Bigger. like something Chad would have said. Bigger. Stop being realistic. No, nah, I have to Chad would have like, my nigga. My, my nigga, nigga, man. My nigga. Nah, no. You got to think big. Like, Who you think be telling once, him Once you shit? start thinking like this, it's a different conversation. That's Chad. This is a different conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a different conversation. Man, I don't know what Chad y'all be talking to. That nigga be like, hey, man, you think I... You right. You right. Maybe. You right, Lowe. 50,000 acres, man. That's stupid, that's stupid shit, Lowe. You right. I don't know how the fuck we're going to pull it off, but you right. Nah, that's me right there. Like, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to pull it off. Fuck reality, man. You always got to overshoot what you're trying to do. 
So that way, you can really get what you, it ain't no disappointment in it. No. Man, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like, overshoot it. From what I came from, like, I saw my mom get shot when I was nine, man. Damn. I went to prison at 16. I done did a whole bunch of other shit that, you know, can't talk about. But for Don't. me to be right here, I won already. Exactly. So it ain't, I'm at a point in my life, honestly, what? I truly feel like it ain't nothing I can't do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is a win. Because right. I already, I already beat, beat the, the trap. Exactly. I beat it. Like, I see that shit proudly. So for me, I love going back, like, helping my homies out. I love going back. Like, my, my homies, he, the other day, he was like, bruh, you know what? He did 15 on a manslaughter. Damn. So we, he been home for a minute night. That was my big homie when we was in the pen. He gave me the game when I was 16. So he was like, bruh, I won't I won't start throwing concerts. I said, Man, fuck them concerts. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you options. I'm gonna show you how to print money, bro. He was like, what? I said, man, I'm gonna show you how to no overhead. You just pin on yourself. You're in the market. You're gonna make more money doing that shit than you ever do during the concert. But I just need you to dedicate to it. He was like, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna tell you how to try. That's my goal. Like, when you talk about finances and you talk about investing, like that shit been spoken in language for a certain group of people for so long. Right, so well, we just don't associate with it. We feel like, man, I ain't fucking with that shit. I'm gonna go do something else. So for me, I take pride in learning it, studying it every day. I don't gotta be the best investor in the world. Nope, I'm gonna leave that to somebody else. I don't gotta be the best trader in the world. Nope, I'm gonna leave that to somebody else. What I am gonna do, all them motherfuckers who thought they couldn't do this shit, I'm gonna talk to y'all. The ones who felt like, man, I stopped going to school in the eighth grade, the ones who felt like this is the end of my road, I'm going to talk to y'all. I'm about to go show you that. You can say, fuck them folks. Print your own money. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between being financially independent and having financial freedom. Mm -hmm. Right? So most people aim to be financially independent. And that's when, you sit, that's when you're saying, I'm, I'm not dependent on my job or nobody else to make money for me. I can make it for myself. Financial freedom, money is not even an issue no more. It's two different things. You feel me? So for me, it's going to say, all my niggas I was in the trap with, all the females I knew, because the trap is the trap everywhere you go with. It ain't just hustlers. It ain't, it's like people that just don't see no way out. The reason why people can't really go forward in life because like you look at everything around, you see that shit is a dead end. So you ain't inspired to do no other shit. Right? Where the inspiration at? You don't see nobody else doing nothing different. You ain't never, if you look at the people that you've been around for the last five years and all y'all keep doing the same shit, ain't nobody did nothing different. Ain't no inspiration in that shit. Ain't no inspiration in that shit. So you already accept defeat. I don't know where it went at. Where it went at? No, it's still here. But you I'm good. You can hear me? You can hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. So. They always laughing at him. He did that. He told ain't no, there, There's no inspiration <laughs> in that shit. So if you don't got no inspiration in that shit, subconsciously you already accepting defeat. Stop accepting defeat, Jack. You accepting defeat. So for me, it's like, bro, check this out. We ain't got to, you don't got to go do another big. You don't got to. I'm not going back to jail, bro. I'm not either. He ain't been <laughs> So it's, <laughs> it's saying, like, I want, it's real shit. I want black men of my age and in my age group to start thinking about being fucking grandfathers. Mm -hmm. Shit, yeah. Some of them already are, though. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, we don't need much. We don't even think that far. I definitely ain't thought about You feel me? He got to start making some new faces, grandfather. He you feel me? Yeah. I was like, I'm there, grandfather. Shit. You feel me? I ain't mean I want, to do that. I want that shit. I want that shit. I want that shit. But what are you gonna fuck up? Like, old ass <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna be a bunch of hoes. Really? Really? <laughs> Y'all been really telling these hoes that I am single. <laughs> Get out of here, Larry, and your old man boss. <laughs> You mean to tell me the last fucking somebody ready? Holy shit. <laughs> man, man. But that's my goal, man. Like, they can be better traders. They can be better Wow! Traders. All niggas do is lie! I won't teach you. You said you had kids. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck the grand slide comes from? No, I'm not fucking around. Oh, if I can teach that, that's, that's my goal, man. Like, you can teach it. You, you can come on here and teach it.